Hi guys, Dog Miner here. I am at uh, this little creative pet project that I'm working on. Uh, Cashel, Ashington Castle. Sorry. Ah, tired. 11 o'clock at night. Uh, I'm going to turn that back on. So I kind of designed uh, this A, which is actually a chiseled diamond block and obsidian, which is a Shanton's uh, trademark. An A and diamond blocks and obsidian uh, if any of you saw the tweet a few minutes ago this is the ugly tree uh, I didn't want to use a single leaf type and the area has you know, spruce and pines and fir so I grabbed the two kinds of fir leaves and uh, a spruce log needs a lot of work but no trees are perfect. Uh, this I haven't hollowed out yet. This is supposed to be a greenhouse of some sort. Maybe even an observatory. Trees in the way for that though. Um, I wanted a little bit of color. I saw these in the uh, NEI. They're a little bright and I do have them uh, lit for at night. So they glow. A little bit of out of place here. I don't know where these actually grow. Uh, Vermilion autumn leaves. I don't know what biome they're actually from or if they're even available in this pack. But I thought they really give a pop of color. Uh, this is going to be a front. I don't know if it's going to be windows or a doorway. Put in a little bit of a patio out here. This is just kind of a breezeway that will go into the greenhouse. Uh, I've done a lot of putting on roof and I leveled out an area for a walkway which is supposed to come out here and then I didn't like the way it was coming out. So I <laughs> still so haven't decided what to do with that. Uh, this will probably be another level out here. Uh, this is just out for access. This is hollowed out, uh, a circular room that connects to the first room that I did. Uh, not completely torched up, but all in due time. Oh, I get out of here. I uh, had tried to put in a water wheel on this face, and it just looked horrible. And what I wanted to do is have the water come down, go around this way, and connect up to this. And it just didn't work. <laughs> that's, that's why these are here. Um, so I've got to figure out what to do with this thing. This I gotta trade out the uh, the schist here. I originally wanted to make this like a, a big boulder. And it's like you know that's about the right size for a Shanton's A, and there will be another one on this side. And then it just with the Craig uh, Rock, it looked really really bad. I was like, well. What if that was like a big piece of jade sticking out? Uh, so I went with the schist. Uh, there's probably a better block. I just haven't located it. But if we go a little bit further away, it doesn't look too bad so far. I've got to find a way tie this part here in better. Right now it's just kind of smoothed out. I uh, made this kind of jagged. I don't know if I'm going to change out the point blocks uh, for something that maybe looks more fortified. Um, one thing I did try was uh, wrought iron. I had wrought iron in here at one point. 
but it didn't come out right on the ends, for example. It's just, I think it's too primitive, too orcish, maybe. I don't know what, <laughs> what the exact word would be for that. Uh, but it gives it a nice visual for not doing anything at all. I cut in this roof line. Um, not sure if I'm just going to uh, bring this down. Just to uh, have a, a face. Uh, this will probably... Uh, Oh, that's not the one I wanted to take out. If I bring this down on a diagonal like so, and then smooth it back. About, I'll do the same thing. Um, what I want to try to do is reveal a little bit more of that face. Of course, um, still not what, sure what to do with these sides of this clock, but. I think the clock came out pretty nice. Uh, there is some glowstone set into that. Give it a glow. I want to change out a lot of that. So, because I'm right now I'm just using a lot of this crag rock to rough in, and it's getting to be overwhelming to my eye, <laughs> which uh, is probably really sickening to most people's eye. I had thought of a. Um, Changing out some of the roofs for a uh, terracotta tile look. Uh, most people know that as uh, Spanish tile. I uh, just haven't found anything that's the right texture or the uh, right color. Except for maybe hardened clay and that's just... I don't know if that can be... Uh, chiseled or not yeah, I don't see a chiseled uh, option on that one nope it can't be let's take a quick look okay chisel blocks anything terracolor colored Actually, block blocks or brick blocks. Something like that. I mean, that that's too bright, but that's about the texture I want. There's bound to be something. Um, it wasn't more red, but not, not quite orange. This is a fantasy build, so it's not a uh, complete strictness. Uh, some of the mud, well, some of these dirt ones aren't too bad either, but it's. See what that one looks like. Where's my hammer? Here it is. Pop off a couple of rows here. I think I'm at the wrong angle to put those in. I was going to do that no matter which angle I'm at. Yeah, I don't like it. Acacia wood, a little quiet bray. Definitely running the wrong direction that I want. So let's 
try that one. Yeah, I could actually live with that possibly. Yeah, I think for a large section like that, we'd have to be broke up with something. These go all the way up. From a distance, it's actually pretty nice. And there's always my favorite wood for roofs. And straight out palm log there. Oh my, I got a new mouse. It's, uh, the wheel is completely failing on me. It's jumping uh, five or six lines at a time. And quite often, if I scroll up, it scrolls down. The brighter for the uh, pop of color, uh, the palm looks more like a shingle. Uh, I wish you could. Uh, I don't know if you can still touch that, but the uh, after. It the redded jute. Oop, not what I wanted to do. It's actually easier just to break it out when you're in creative mode. This is what I used on the roof of uh, what I'm calling the watermelon house in the other in the flat world. Which isn't too bad if you want to make a jungle hut. I want to find out if this can be silk touched. I don't know my commands very well. much stuff. Is water too cold for jute? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's or is it that I'm in uh, creative mode? Yes, because I'm in creative mode. Could be daytime too. There goes one. <laughs> you said oh, that one's working. I haven't been any further into this world than uh, 
the last video I flew around with you guys with. Except for all the way to the top. Um, I was actually thinking about where would I put a mob farm? <laughs> I had a crazy idea. Well, let's get this. Uh, let's let this sit for a minute. I was having a crazy idea. You know, if this pack had things like the Diamond Dolly or Transposers or whatever stuff, stuff that can move a spawner, what I would do and where I would put them. Technically, I can go to. Oops. <laughs> Almost killed myself there. I mean, I could go to uh, any eye and pull them out. Um, but this pack doesn't have that, so I'm not going to do it. Unless I'm just playing around in the uh, creative flat world. Well, let's see. No, it is not silk touchable. That really stinks because that brownish color is what I want for something else that I'm working on but yeah it's just it would remind me of a uh, oh what are those straw roofs thatch roofs that's the word I'm thinking of thatch I wonder if you would have anything like that well they got the bamboo thatch but It's not going to work either. Anyway, guys, if you guys got some ideas or, uh, you know, block choices that might uh, look good for a roof, um, wall colors that, I mean, I kind of want to keep the walls like this was carved out of solid stone, but accent pieces would be great. So right now in these we've got uh, marble, soapstone, there's uh, green schist, red granite, there's another one that I found in here, not soapstone, where is it? Oh, I, I probably grabbed it all the way now. Um, oh, chalk, I know chalk's around here somewhere too. So chalk, soapstone. Basically, all the white rocks are here. Um, if you play this pack, and probably anybody that would reply to me is playing this pack. Uh, we've got uh, black granite right there. Of course, the crag rock, dirt. Yeah, it's quite a quite a view from up here. Knowing the uh, the biome, or at least what I think I, is the biome, this is basically, if this was in vanilla, it would be a uh, amplified extreme hills. And if I remember correctly with the uh, food tweaks and stuff in this pack, nothing grows very well here. <laughs> so my greenhouse is probably gonna be an observatory. This, I believe, is one of those uh, flowing rivers that are more than usual. So, yeah, fill in a hole, make a water slide. And it goes quite a ways. I don't know where it goes from here, really. I'm just following it to. You know, if I really wanted to make a water slide, it would be kind of fun in a way, at least to me. this way you know to see hey we got squid farm wow yeah that's some serious lag there's a lot of force in that water I'd imagine all those squids came falling from all the different waterfalls in the area 
So we got one there, the one we came down, two here, uh, one from over there. Yeah, there's just the one there. A little bit of lava. Yeah, these are. This would be a fun place if uh, you knew exactly what you were doing. Unique curves and overhangs. Uh, this I think is really cool because it makes like a wave. I remember the first time I saw a world like this uh, in a movie, which of course was Avatar. I was amazed by the 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 world. Didn't care for the movie much, but I was amazed by the world. Yeah, a little Swiss cheese going here. Wow. I'm just thinking, you know, what a minecart ride could go through a, a mountain like this, up and around, and twists and turns. Yeah, this is 1.8 and had slime block launchers. It could be really interesting. Oh, yeah, I think this is another one of the rocks I got around here, which is the comatite, right? Yeah, comatite. Which I think is what I put in the, in the top of that, uh, that roof uh, peak. It's just so strange like being on an alien planet. I had one world. Um, I was uh, working on a uh, adventure map that was kind of a CTM. Um, Gold Vampire Quest, and it had a. Uh, extreme hills that was real tall and had valleys like this and the uh, the one area I had put a castle it was just like a big circle and then it had one peak coming up the center uh, the peak was real similar to the uh, peak in uh, close counters of the third kind uh, as far as uh, you know being almost straight up and circular it is a floating you know. and it worked out real handy because the way the canyon was I could put bridges out uh, in either direction in like four directions <coughs> sorry anyway I haven't gotten much further I haven't done but maybe an hour's work on it since the uh, last time we uh, Chatted together. Yeah, give uh, me some ideas. Um, you know, if you can get a screenshot from the video and show me the area that you're talking about, maybe. Uh, I don't care if it's MS Paint. Uh, that's what I use for a lot of my rough sketches and ideas. Cheap, simple, and free. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you get ideas, uh, build it in regular Minecraft, notes, but make notes, whatever, let me know. I got, I'm open to a lot of ideas. Um, I was just, like, I, I fly around here, see something, like this dirt spot right here. I just saw that dirt spot, saw kind of a, a triangular arch. You know, from back there, it looked like a hobbit hole or a hobbit doorway. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, just stupid little things like that inspire me to do 
make stupid stuff like this. <laughs> you know, just, just a peak, a rock, a tree. Sometimes you just got to draw your inspiration where you can and uh, go from there. I think I got an idea for up there, but I'll let that wait for now. And we'll talk to you guys later. You have a good one.